Hey y'all, I'm Leanne Hackney and I'm a local real estate agent in the Dallas area with Keller Williams. And I am here at this beautiful property, 6342 Berwyn with my client, Richard, who has taken a home from the studs, 1970s, closed spaces, original condition, and just completely redone it, opened it all up and is about to be finishing up this beautiful project. So let's walk through and let him tell us about what he did and what he saw and why he chose to, to reconfigure the space the way that it is. We're in what was a second living room right now, yeah? We are. Um, the house was really closed up. We knocked down a whole big wall, put up a big mm -hmm. engineer beam. We created a third bedroom. Uh, if you want to come over here, this will be our entertainment wall. We're going to give it some depth. Here, we had a big fireplace that closed off the galley style kitchen, mm -hmm. which closed, it, cl closed the kitchen off to the rest of the house. So we elected to tear the fireplace down, brand new roof. We're gonna do an eight foot island here. We had a wall here we knocked down to create more space for, could be a great breakfast nook. We'll have our refrigerator here, all of our cabinets. Well, we're going to create another pantry here to match the cabinets. We'll have a gas stove and oven here with a nice hood. We've got another pantry right here. And then if you come over here, we've got some space for the washer and dryer and some more storage and then out to your garage, which we put a really cool new garage door on. We got a brand new door wall here. We're gonna make this a nice outdoor space. Which is overlooking the Katy Trail, which is a really cool, unique location. You can get everywhere in the city, White Rock Lake, downtown, dining, shopping, restaurants, and get your bike out and take the Katy Trail. Yes, yeah, so uh, this neighborhood, very easy access to where they connected the Katy Trail with the White Rock Lake trails. Mm -hmm. And you can go either direction, whether you're biking, walking, jogging. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Yeah. We've got a nice patio space here. We're gonna dress up the, the concrete. And I think what we're gonna do is plant some boxwood shrubs to create a barrier. As you can see, there's our brand new kind of modern garage door. The whole back fence will be replaced with a brand new, good looking cedar fence. Mm -hmm. And then if you want, uh, we've got nice windows, low maintenance, high efficiency. And if you want, we can go on the front porch and I'll show you what we're gonna do out there. All right, here we are in the front yard. We've got some beautiful trees. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do here to make this more modern and, and inviting space is we tore out all the old shrubs. We're gonna plant new like boxwoods. All this ornate stuff will go away. We'll have a nice matte black railing. All these poles will go away and we'll have um, like a six by six beam uh, probably cedar or maybe something to match the, the trim color here. And uh, we're still debating whether or not we do shutters or just leave it clean. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, you know, we'll have more shrubs to match going all the way down here. And uh, I think that's about it for right now. And then if you want to walk through, we'll show you what we've done and what we're doing with the baths and the uh, bedrooms. This used to be a closet. We elected to do a half bath and it's going to be very cool. All right. And we come in here. This would be like your second bedroom. You've got your closet and we gutted everything and we're completely redoing the bath. 
We've got a, a nice brand new shower, very cool tile work. Um, and then we come over here into the master bedroom. Very nice size. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn this into a big master bath suite. We're going to have a standalone acrylic tub with a nice big walk-in shower, double vanity sink. <laughs> we can put some shelves here for miscellaneous storage or towels or whatever you'd like to do. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a pretty good sized closet for him and her. Which originally borrowed space from the closet on the secondary bedroom, but you reconfigured it to yes. make the extra space for the primary bedroom, which was a really smart use of unneeded closet space. Yes, so we enlarged the master closet, taking away some space from the second bedroom there. Mm -hmm. um, and then the and then last actually bedroom. Used to be the doorway to this bathroom, but closed it off to create that primary bath rather than a guest bath. The last bedroom. So at the end of the day, this house is going from a two bedroom, two bath to a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Mm -hmm. um, and so this would be your third bedroom. And uh, I think the people who fall in love with this house are gonna be very happy. Mm -hmm. There's so much it's, natural light in here, too. It's a great location. You're so close to White Rock Lake, Lower Greenville, downtown Dallas. It's a great location, a nice, peaceful, quiet neighborhood with lots of mature trees. Mm -hmm.